Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will be discussing the reverse thrust system on most jet airliners. And I know you guys might be curious about this one. I am, some of you might not even know what this is. But just keep watching, see how it all works. So let's talk about the basics of reverse thrust and what it's used for. So the reverse thrust system is used to help stop aircraft on wet, slippery runways where the brakes might not be able to do it because the tires will get too slippery and then start hydroplaning above the water that's up covering the ground. It might just be a little bit of water that's covering the ground, but it's just enough to make anything go sliding off if there's too much brake pressure added. And that's not what you want in a jet airliner, especially with there's a bunch of passengers on there. So on a dry runway, on a regular hot day, or a regular cold day where there's not any moisture on the runway, also known as water or ice, then they will not use the reverse thrust system to its maximum capability. They will only open it one, one setting, and that will be just enough to open the reversers and not really do much about it. The brakes, on the other hand, will be doing most of the work on a dry runway, but they always have them open just in case... They slip on a patch of ice if it's cold or hit a, just a random patch of water if it's a hotter day, if it just rained a few hours ago. So how will the reverse thrust system be activated? The reverse thrust system will be activated by the pilots in the cockpit by the pilots pulling two levers in front of the throttle sticks that will activate the reverse thrust. And the reverse thrust will give the pilots 70 to 80% depending on the bypass ratio of the engine to minimize the stopping distance on wet runways, as I already previously stated. This will open doors on the inside of the engine and pull back the engine nacelle for the reverse thrust to be activated and used. They will open doors and then the doors will come up and block the thrust from exiting the engine. That is how the reverse thrust will be activated. So on private jets or corporate jets, they have what's called the bucket style reverse thrust system, which is where an exteriorly mounted bucket, so you might say, will pushes 100% of the thrust back to the front of the engine to slow it down. On airliners, not including the old airliners, which do have bucket systems, the newer airliners, such as the 787, the 737, the 757, the 767, and almost every other new airliner 70s plus is going to have the interiorly mounted reverse thrust system, which is where the doors will come out inside the engine to reverse about 70 to 80 percent of the thrust. Thank you all for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video and tell me what plane or system that you would like to see reviewed next. And until I see you all again, bye bye for now.